Hello, welcome to another day with experiments with SciTech to you. Today we will be doing we will be modeling Coriolis effect with Yusuf and Abdurrahim. First thing you want to do is blow up the balloon. First, you're going to hold your balloon at eye level and draw the equator. The Coriolis effect is named after Gustave Gaspard Coriolis, a 19th century French professor of mechanical engineering. The theory explains the apparent deviation in the path of winds and water currents across the earth. The effect can be a tough concept to explain, but it is fairly easy to model. Mark the top north and mark the bottom south. As I spin the earth, Abdurrahim will draw a line to the equator. Is your line straight? No. So that's the Coriolis effect. As the earth turns, it gets deflected. The, um, the wind gets deflected and you form this curvature, which actually is part of the reason why we have hurricanes. Next, we're going to draw a line from the south to the equator. From the North Pole, to the equator is counterclockwise, and from the south pole to the equator, it's clockwise. Because the Earth rotates from west to east around a north-south axis, paths of objects moving great distances across the Earth's surface are deflected. So we're going to repeat the experiment, and but this time we're going to move the balloon back. Both Anchorage and Los Angeles rotate once in, 20, in a 24 hour day. Los Angeles travels farther and faster because it is a lower latitude. Now from the south. Students need to picture this phenomenon clearly before they can comprehend the Coriolis effect and, it, and its impact on weather systems and ocean currents. What's the difference between the two balloons? So this balloon is the second time we did it. And when he spin faster, the line went off into the side. And when we did it from the north, it spin around to the equator. But when we did it on the first time, the line was more smooth. We spin it and had less of curve on both north and south. Draw out a circular shape using any round object. Cut out the circle. We put the Monte clay on each end to hold this ruler down. Place the circle in the middle and put the thumb tack. the ruler right here and then we're going to spin the circle. The edges of the circle represent the equator. While Abdurrahim is spinning the circle, I'll draw a straight line against the ruler. We moved it really slow, and this is the Coriolis effect. If we moved it faster, it would be a higher curvature. Thank you for joining us. Um, again, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe and donate, whatever you can. Thank you. Bye-bye.